Hello, hi, how are you? My name's Kenan and welcome to my channel and today we're playing part two of Martha is dead. So theory is we killed our twin sister. Stairs. Forgot I can run. Oh, there's a gun. Oh, what's this? This is Mummy's jewelry. Uh -huh. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Right. Anything of use? I guess not. Oh, maybe? What is that letter? Dear Mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found <gasps> out that Julia is pregnant. I did kill her. Go to the she lake told on me. <laughs> seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. Was that blood a miscarriage? Hey, come on. Mommy's medicine. That's it. Will they do her any good? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Irene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Ooh. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Something. I gotta figure out the key the key is anything in here deck of cards here are my cards nanny and i always used to play with them she would predict my future and i pretended to predict hers the future was always good for everyone who's maybe when she read them your she future ain't good true future which she hid from me or more likely these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with but deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Okay, so then... Ooh, can I... Dang it. Okay, I wanted to see if there was a pink key over there. Yes, that's it. Continue on to the next room. Following the dramatic news from the countryside. Archbishop Toccarelli Well, protest. if I think I can go out in this state, maybe I am actually going crazy. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave... It's where my, uh, Julia's clothes. It's this one. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. Something darker? What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. Am I supposed to bathe? Is there a bathroom? Do I stain, uh, Martha's clothes with blood? What am I thinking? Oh, okay. I would stain my clothes with blood. Well, how do I clean myself? I'm a bit special. It's the bathroom. Oh, right here. Are you gonna pee standing up? You got something we don't know about? That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. Well, it's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. Um. 
I think she was pregnant and she had a miscarriage and that's where that blood came from naughty naughty girl Julia you are Oh, this- oh, this is that pink room. There's that key, though. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. Two, whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. Ooh. Three, whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. I'm part of the rebel group. Can I turn this off? Okay, I turned off the music. I don't want to get claimed for it, even though I don't make money off of this stuff anyway. Boop, 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 boop. Shuffle. Divination. What the? I don't mess with this stuff. Am I supposed to match him? The hermit? Well, I mean... <laughs> I do live in a basement and I don't leave. <laughs> Inference? Stars and the it's upside down. Is still far away. I must be patient and wise. I don't understand what any of this means. Not on my side, unfortunately. These them devil cards. Okay. Done. It would be nice to have you always by my side. Will Even it? if it's just a picture. Over here. Nope. Mummy. That's my K. I'm gonna try to clean up the not blood. Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. Something else over here. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. I knew that, Julia. These workbenches fascinate me. I would love to learn carpentry. This is where Nanny's husband made my dolls. The puppets I used to play with were made here. I never knew that when I was a child. They always told me that a fairy brought them. <clears throat> I didn't really believe them, but it was nice to think that. Door. Door. What? Page? Check. Check. So it lenses. A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. I have found what I need to take in for red photos. Oh, I could just take different lenses. Okay. I 
have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. <laughs> ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. <laughs> okay, ready. Go. Oh, He's how disabled. nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right, my voice is awful. It cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait Holy any longer. Holy crap. How many cameras I do you I have? Just stop time. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. You may? You Damn did. My head in these memory lapses. We know Such already. Pain not remembering. Julia. It's like getting lost inside yourself. Here I was running toward the pier. Just as I remember. <gasps> this is creepy. I'm gonna develop this one. <laughs> I wish you can kind of skip all these steps. I only skip some of them. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. It's like my memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. What's I that? Feel a little better. Phrase. Now I can. Shut up, Julie. I'm trying to talk. Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. It sounds like the witch. Is this crazy talk? Yes, yes. Definitely. But what's normal about any of this? You're nuts. Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. It's beautifully haunting. A photograph is both the present and the past, like a dead body. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe it's silly to think you can capture the soul of someone who has died. Her Imagine her eyes were open. That'd be so creepy. Her <laughs> lack of expression scares me. I don't even know whether to keep this blank photo with me or just throw it away. I don't care. I we're done in here. Let's leave. I take the bike. <gasps> okay. My bike. Aww. The wheel is deflated as usual. Damn it. The bicycle pump will solve this. It's not your fault, Julia. Is this a bicycle pump? Looks like a gas or a fertilizer. There's a hut over here? Hmm. I guess I can't go. There's a grave. Who died here? Something 
dead? Why is there so many guys? I don't have my camera. I'm gonna photograph this stuff. What? Is that real? Am I imagining this? What is going on here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. All right, get shot. That's okay. You killed your sister anyway. I have too many. Oh shit! <laughs> what happened? Are they dead? Did they die? Killed one of them. Look, it's Lieutenant Dan. God, please no. He ain't got no legs. Lapo, my dear friend. What have they done to you? Oh, her boyfriend. The one who got her pregnant. Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. And they blew up his legs. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself. <laughs> End of game. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch. <lacht> Scheiße, lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie liegt im Sterben. Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir Damn. müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. So they shot her. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost... Because you pleased. killed your sister already. When You're I already returned, dead inside, Julia. Once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. I gave you back your appearance. I give you back your appearance. I give you back your appearance. I give you back your appearance. She died. Is this the end of the game? Ew. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's so creepy. I give you back. I give you back.
they did a really good job I give you back. with how her face looks without her skin. I can hit this part. My eyes. What to be wrong? Is that the white lady? Am I the white lady? Lieutenant Dan, no. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. So they tried to but cheat they death. they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. Exactly. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. Did she give up herself so because she knew her sister was pregnant? Was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart and had fooled both fate and me. Sounds like a you problem. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Uh, damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Did I bleed again? No. There's blood there. So I was shot. No, no, no. My bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Mother probably took it. Can I leave? Can't leave. How is she? How is my daughter? I'm fine. Please, doctor. Please give me good news. 
It's a miracle she's alive, Eric, but she will be all right. Fire those assholes. The ceremony is today, so I need a suitable dress. We gotta change first. I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before you almost died for the funeral. The and bullet then passed take right her by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. Ooh, she cheated she that once again. Died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Eric. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor. Hey. For everything. Aww. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much, maybe too much. Let's open this door. Violence against citizens continues in La Romola, and once again General K's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gunshot in her back could have killed her. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist political motive appears to be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the battle... What if the bag is here somewhere? Ah. They are still far from the Tavernelli Val di Pizza. The German resistance... It's not. Bag is not here, right? I don't see it. I'm already dressed. Well, I w what if your bag was in there? There's my bag. Thank God. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. What the fuck? Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number, 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. Oh, that's Mommy, right. No, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd <laughs> rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Yeah. Can I not leave? July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. 
that you did. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Uh, why can't I leave? Thank you. Still need to find a key to that door. Guess I need to read it every friggin' morning. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Oh, body's gone. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. No, you can't. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord, I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me, it's Julia. Oh my god, Julia, my little sparrow, how wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I, I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that, actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. <clears throat> I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool, quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. <gasps> we all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead... Poor Nanny. Well, I guess she got out of that situation. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Should have asked her where the key was. This is the oh, apple. <laughs> Poor bird. It knows. It's Martha.
poor little one. He's dead, poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Here, Martha, this is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. Well, no snap. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I'm waiting for her to pop up. I miss up. you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Commune of San Casciano. Province of Florence. Death Certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this Commune, number 174, part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay, Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. Goodbye. Will you forever haunt me? Alright, now let's try to go back to the lake. Still can't find a pump. The bicycle. Be nice to take. I guess I could have just. Boat can be used to access the hidden areas in the island. What? This isn't a good idea at the moment. What? Why not? Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy. Or all will uh -huh. have been in vain. That's why I can't do it. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One. I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. see what my fate is or Julia's fate I persist what that means I don't play with tarot cards the moon don't know what that means the Empress don't know what that means I have to see beyond appearances there are those who betray me and speak ill of me but someone will know how to give me the right advice. Is it the white... White lady? The white lady give me right advice? That raven is making a big fuss. 
Salem. Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. Maybe it's gonna kill you. Maybe it's death. Maybe it's death at my door. I hate bullying. Yet it seemed as if the raven wanted to bring the little bird back to life. Where are you? Can you still harass me? Can I shoot the raven? I'd be good at it. Is this the pump? Oh. Here's the bicycle pump. It's tiny. I was not expecting that. Yo, bird, leave me the freak alone. Alright, let's dial some numbers. Oh shit, what was it? Six nine three four? Uh six nine three four, yeah, I was right. Is B. You've called this number. Damn, Lapo must be dead then. Oh, please, fair comrade. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, I'm a telegraph spy. town Heck on yeah. fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. Become a spy. I like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Help the partisans reveal the plan to father. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's reveal. Think my dad would help? I decided to tell my father everything. I loved him very much, so I couldn't do such a thing in secret. I didn't understand anything about these things. I would have acted without knowing what I was doing. Daddy told me to agree to their requests and report everything back to him. But does that mean now he knows you're Julia? He implored me not to get myself into any trouble. Like all fathers you're, do. You're supposed to be deaf. To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. I think I already have that. Taylor scissors should be fine. Making me actually pump <laughs> the air into this tire. Now I can use it. Fix the bike. Okay. Shut up, bird. What do you want? Okay, so the communication cable is all the way over here. I don't know where the bird is. 
Is it on the roof? It said to find the bird. I don't know where the heck it is. I thought maybe it'd be like on the... On here or something. Alright, so the cable's over here. Somewhere. Oh, there's the raven. Am I supposed to follow it? Maybe. Do the cable first. Oh, this. Oh. Make me actually do work. Wait, what do I do now? I grab it out of my bag? And I slide down? With the cable. Am I stuck? With the wire. German tank. I have oh, to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location via telegraph. Okay, so cut the this wire first. wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. Oh shit! I could cut the wrong one. Is it this one? Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. Wouldn't they have seen me? Hi, right, Raven, where are you going? Oh, what's this? made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. Maybe it's a lady in white. Mother's. Oh. My goodness. Maybe the mother killed... Maybe the mother I started to suspect killed Martha thinking it was Julia? In Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me. I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Maybe she didn't like both of her daughters. Had it been her? I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was yeah. convinced that I was dead. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. How do you mix up your own I child, though? I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. I mean, if you're deaf, you feel the vibration, so... I guess that really shouldn't matter. But she might have not, like, technically she's Martha, so she might have not known how to play. I mean, Beethoven. Beethoven played. Wasn't he deaf? What's going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? 
I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. Damn. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough! You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic! They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with you're, everything she you're, had You're a bit crazy, girl. You're I a bit crazy. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost mother, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. New chapter, The White Lady. Five days after Martha's death, 6 a.m. This is where I'm going to leave it uh, for part two. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this story. Now, do you think the mother did it? But if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, press that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.